Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. And today we're gonna to talk about sponsorships. Yes, guys, but before I get into the video, please take a look at the view count below. Guys, hit the like button. See if we can match the likes to the amount of views. But always hit the like button at all the start of my videos, guys. If you if you bang with boost, please always hit the like. But anyways, let's jump into the video. I wanna say a PSA. In no way am I butt hurt or anything by any of these bigger companies or companies that wanted to work with Boost in Motion. But at the end of the day, when people sit there and say to you, and companies sit there and say to you, listen, our products are going to sell regardless, with your help or without your help. Should you really go and purchase that product when you just sat there and asked them, can you do a co-brand sponsorship and or a brand placement and you never asked for anything for free? You stated you'll pay uh, you'll pay three-fourths of the price come on just saying at the end of the day you can't get, you should know your value and what I'm realizing is you got to build a value for them to come so outside of that let's get into the video so um, in a perfect world right we would want sponsors to sponsor us as youtubers right but here's what happens that's not really happening in a perfect world you hit up a you you hit up a sponsor hey I really like your part I want to show it on my YouTube and let's make this happen. And they'll hit you back, yeah, sure. And then they'll send the product to you either for a reduced price, you make a few videos for it, they make a profit, you get a reduced price on the product and everyone wins, right? But no, that's not actually what happens. So let's talk about it. So your boy Boost has only worked with a few, a small amount of companies such as Burger Tuning, Pedal Commander, Matt Metrics and my friend shop All Out Motor Works in Long Island, so definitely check them out, right? But outside of that, your boy Boost hasn't been sponsored by any channels. And you guys are really curious why Boost don't buy certain parts from certain companies, right? Reason being is because I've had sent emails to these companies. I've had spoken to representatives from these companies. And some of these companies have red tape, so it's hard to get to the right marketing people. But outside of that, your boy Boost had to do a lot of this on his own, right? So, let me use you guys' example. So, I was, uh, I hit up Mishimoto, right? Hit, hit up Mishimoto, and I was like, hey, I really like your heat exchanger. So, they had a sponsorship. They offered me 11% off the heat exchanger. So, you guys, they're like, wow, that's dope, Boost, do it. But to me, I'm like, no. Here's why, Right? Number one, 11% off their heat exchanger is something that they can do on a regular. They can do that at any time during Black Friday. They can do that at any time, right? But here's the deal. I wanted a little bit more off because, hey, this is a big company. And they don't know that, hey, when I recommend a product to you guys, you guys are actually go and buy it. So if three, 400 of you guys go buy this heat exchanger just because Boo said it's a good heat exchanger and I don't get any money back, why should I only get about 11% off? So we finally came up to about an 18, I think it was 18 or 19% off. And I declined that. And here's why I tell you that. Because your boy Boost, what I choose, your boy Boost, says that's only about $100 off. If I'm telling you guys on IG, at Boost Emotion on IG, and I'm telling you guys on the YouTube, hey, listen, check out this heat exchanger, get this. Guess what that means? If that, if, that, if that video gets 20,000 views, and on top of the people who already hit me up regularly, and let's just say I sell 300 units, whatever their price to margin is, where they actually make some extra money off of that, it's gonna be way substantial than just $100 off. Now, for some of you guys that are watching, Boost, you have to earn the credit, you have to put in the work, you just can't get stuff for free. I'm not trying to get stuff for free, but here's an example. My burger tuning heat exchanger, right I got that for 50% off I told you this in a long video ago long video ago that's a smaller company they offered me that heat exchanger for 50% off so that was a partial sponsorship and I recommended that heat exchanger because not only one because I wanted because it because is the installation but two I recommended it and that company sold a lot of those units not only because of its price margin but also because of people like me who say hey this is a pretty good product that you guys can actually use so moving forward from that i declined that sponsorship and that was it 
But here's the thing, I still recommend the Mishimoto heat exchanger over the AMX one because it has right around the same amount of surface area and you can save about two, $250. Listen to the AMX guys that are watching because you're like, huh, yeah, <laughs> boost, it, boost is at it again, talking his shit. So moving forward from that now, right? Here's, a, here's what else I have to say, all right? You have smaller companies out there and this, these smaller companies, such as Burger Tuna, choose to work with your boy. These, these companies don't understand that we are now, YouTubers, are now the brand ambassadors for their company. So if we tell you guys, right, hey, check this product out, you, you should definitely look into purchasing this product, right? We are the marketing for these companies. Because if you guys go to the, the consumer, if the business owner, I know you're watching, and you say, hey, this product is amazing, but you're the one that sells the product. And then you have four other companies doing the same thing. How are they supposed to know? Because you're just a representative. You're not a user of the product. So a lot of these businesses just don't understand that. So what I chose to do is not deal with that anymore. Cut out dealing with these bigger companies. And what I chose to do is now use eBay and Amazon Associates. Uh, for YouTubers, um, pretty much this is like a way for us to get a commission off the purchases, uh, off the purchases that we make on these sites, and we get a commission back. So this is why a lot of YouTubers say, check below to the T, uh, not Teespring, uh, check below to the YouTube or eBay links because we get a small commissions off of that. So yeah, Missy Moto might have sit, sat there and said, hey, we'll give you $100 off. And I'm like, okay, cool. I saved $100, but I spent 400 And that's it. Um, depending on the sponsorship, I really can't put up an eBay or Amazon link. They would want me to um, say, you have to order directly off their site. And that's it. But when I choose to not deal with them, I put it up on eBay, and I put the eBay and Amazon link. Here's what happens. Now I get a, a partial commission for as long as that those videos are up for as long as you guys click on those links and in the long term I make actually more money in commission in the long term and still promote a product that I would like to use so that's the way around a lot of um, a lot of that type of red tape that these companies would like to uh, push on us now what happens when companies that aren't on eBay and Amazon happens well here's a his because here's for the people who actually made this part Boost doesn't purchase from them. Because if Boost hit them up and say, hey, I would like your product, I would like to promote it, they like to sit there and say, well, we want to see your analytics. Cool, here's my analytics. Great analytics. Okay, uh, let's see your social media following. Here's my social media following. 30,000 subscribers. Uh, here's how much views I get per month uh, for the total amount of uh, per month, depending on my different uh, views. Here is my niche, Infinity Nissan guys. Here's my niche VR30 guys. I'm one of the biggest YouTubers in the VR30 world currently at the moment, in the world. And these companies don't see any value in your boy Boost. So that's why I'm super appreciative of you guys who actually like um, always hit like, watch the videos from the start to the finish because you probably made it to this part and you watched the vi video close to the end and that's why you guys are really the MVP guys. You guys purchased from the channel, you actually purchased the Teespring account, you actually support your boy Boost because the thing is guys, my channel isn't in a big channel, right? At the end of the day, 30,000 still doesn't look big. They don't care if I'm in a niche of just infinity guys. They don't care about that. Unless I'm a channel that's like big, like staying mode, uh, mod to fame, vehicle uh, vehicle virgins. That's what I'm talking about. The people who have like seven, 800,000 people. They, and they see 100,000 views every video. Then they see the value in that. But here's the, here's the thing. That is a different type of uh, audience some of those channels you know what i'm saying a mopar channel is different it's not the same as infinity channel mopar guys buy tires because they like to slide you know what i'm saying they don't really go out there and spend a lot of money and there's different parts for making their cars faster so that's the that's the different that's the niche yes at the end of the day infinity guys may be cheap i get it it may be cheap uh, some businesses may not care for it. They're like, oh my God, just dealing with Infinity Q50 guys, just, they're so cheap. But here's the deal. Go hit up Burger Tuning, Terry Burger. Sold plenty of JB4s. And here's why 
Most Day Before It Sold. Not only because of word of mouth, because your boy Boost, I never was sponsored, was never sponsored for the J before. But I, my channel sold a lot of those units. Plenty. Plenty. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got to get the partial sponsorship with the Heat Exchanger because guess what? They saw the analytics. They saw what the worth is for the channel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's why your boy Boost just keeps pushing on. At the end of the day, my channel's gonna get bigger. It is what it is. At some point, I have 50, maybe 100,000 subscribers. We'll wait and see. We'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, no disrespect to any of the business owners that might have made it to this part of the video. No disrespect to you guys, but listen, I'm not purchasing any of your products brand new. Period. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to... What I'm not going to do. I'm not going to purchase your product and then use like a promo code or something like uh, not a promo code i'm not going to purchase your product and when you get a sale i get a kickback i'm not doing that here's what i'm going to do and this is why once again for the people who make it this part of it because i want you guys to know your boy boost is not dumb it was a grown ass man who makes intelligent decisions i have even told some of these companies hey i'll sell you a time slot in the first two minutes of my video for 60 seconds a time slot you just pay us this small fee for a month time slot and 12 videos that i come the next videos i come out with here's why this is dope because if i drop 12 videos and you get a 30 second time slot in every video right the next 12 videos in that month and i make about and i get about 110,000 views on just those videos alone in that month time that's 100 110,000 people and i'm talking about small fees such as 50 bucks 50 dollars 50 dollars for 30 30 second times 20 to 30 second time slots in 12 videos and 100,000 views think about that you know but you don't want to do that you want me to purchase your product for damn near full price and then <laughs> and then i hope and pray that you actually give me a, a kickback on that no no now, I know what I bring to the market, period. I know what I bring to the market. I know what companies actually value me, and I know what companies don't value me. And no disrespect to any of the people who, who have other YouTubers, man, other YouTubers out there. I, at the end of the day, we all have different deals. But I understand it like this. I'm selling you guys my time. Time is money. You know what I'm saying? I could go buy your product or you, or, or you I could go buy your product for 10% off, and that's it. I just saved 10%. At the end of the day, that company is going to be the one making most of the money. And I'm not making anything. I just pretty much paid full price for your product. And every the world got to see it. Nah. I'd rather not. I'd rather not do that. And I'd rather not waste my time. So, this is your boy, uh, Boost, ranting a little bit. But I just want to give you guys some facts. Because at the end of the day, not all of us are businessmen. But at the end of the day, I don't think like the normal people out there. I don't think that way. I think differently. And at the end of the day, that's why your boy, Boost, doesn't have expensive uh exhaust that's why your boots don't have have uh, expensive heat exchangers expensive tires because to some companies i'm not valuable like that yet and that's fine to other companies i am valuable but they they don't want to take the risk because they're like mm, shoot your boy boost wants to save a hundred dollars off on this product nah we can't do it but a hundred thousand people gonna watch it and probably buy it because Guess what? Your boy Boost is dope, and I, we trust him. You see what I'm saying? They don't see the value, even with analytics. So I'm gonna keep paving the way, keep doing what I gotta do, and I know you guys want to comment below. Always hit the like button, subscribe button, bell notification. Uh, outside of that, man, I love you guys, man. The last video, y'all yeah, hit the like button, crazy. And you guys show so much love to the channel, man. I'm super appreciative. I love you guys so much. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You have a good day.